Hello, Star Seeds. How are you all doing? Hope you're enjoying this Wednesday. Um, wherever you are, I am doing the same. I have another message for us, so let me go ahead and invite the Holy Spirit and we'll get started. Sweet Divine Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence now. Emmanuel, God with us. Yahweh, we, you are welcome, Lord. We welcome your presence. We welcome your sweet presence. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us of all of our sins. Thank you for covering us with your blood. Let no evil come near us in our dwelling and giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We thank you, Lord God, for your faithfulness. Thank you for keeping your word to us. Thank you for never leaving nor forsaking us. Thank you for your consistency, Lord. Thank you that your word is true and you keep your promises, God. We thank you for everything that you have brought us through and to we thank you, Lord God, for your provision. Thank you for our healing. Thank you, Lord God, for everything that you have done for us and everything that you have given us. Thank you for leading and guiding and directing our path. Sweet divine Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me now to give this word to your children. <clears throat> Show us what we need to see. Tell us what we need to know and be aware of in this season. And for that, we give your name praise, glory, and honor. We love you, Lord. We reverence you. We exalt your holy name. You are magnificent. You are sovereign. You are holy. You are wonderful. You are worthy to be praised and glorified. And we call on your name. We thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all so much for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I truly appreciate you all very much. If you are new to the channel, welcome, 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 welcome. We're so glad to have you here, and if you are returning, welcome, welcome, welcome back. So glad to have you back. All right, um, so let me go ahead and get into the message. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. God know who he's trying to reach. I don't. Just being a vessel and being obedient. All right, so let us get into it. Um, God wants you all to know that... Um, you are stable and secure now. Your root chakra is in balance. Um, you are grounded. You are safe in his arms. You are confident of this now. You're um, experiencing a lot of vitality and energy. You're listening to your inner voice. You are focused and present. And you have healthy survivor instincts. You call on the name of the Lord whenever you need something from him. You do not steal or take from anybody else or try to curse anybody else to get it. So you are stable and secure. Your root chakra is in balance. He wants you to know that your, so, your um, solar plexus is in balance as well. You have very high self-esteem, and this is because um, your root chakra is in balance. You have clarity of judgment. You know who you are. You're not having an identity crisis. Um, you know exactly who you are in this season. You have self-discipline, personal power, and willpower. You are very strong. The joy of the Lord is your strength. You are self-assured and you are operating in the role of leadership because you know who you are and who you belong to. And so for that, God wants you to know that you have the keys to the kingdom. You understand um, the mission, the assignment, the purpose. So he has given you the keys to the kingdom. You have access to infinite database um, the ability to unlock secrets from the past, present, and future. You have access to great wisdom, healing information, psychic connections through grounding and purification. So you are grounded. Your root chakra is grounded. You know how to um, cleanse your energy. So you have been given access. 
So God also wants you to know that some of you may feel like it's been a long time coming, but he wants you to know you are here now. Um, you have broken through. You have this breakthrough. Um, it may have taken a long time, but you have gotten there um, steady, step at a one step at a time with a little bit of effort. Those of you who have the seed, the faith, the size of a mustard seed. He says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. So you have shown your faith. You have gone through the fire. And he has been the fourth man in the fire with you. Um, he's saying, let the flames of your passion light your way. But be mindful of the fires that may ignite in your journey. You have reached a place where the gates of opportunities are open to you. Pass through the gate of opportunities. We're in new paths unfurl with boundless potential. He wants you to know that you are heavily protected and divinely guided. Find solace in safety, knowing you're sheltered and guided through life's storms to calm shores. You have walk, you are walking unscathed. You were in the fire, but it did not burn you. He did not allow it to burn you. He was the fourth man in the fire with you. Um, you are fortunate. A trap was laid out for you, but you were too smart to fall for it. And so now knowing all this and having going through all that you have went through, um, he wants you to enjoy the journey that he has you on now. You are in a new cycle, in a new beginning, in a new chapter of your life. He wants you to embrace each moment fully, staying open to new experiences and lessons along the way. So with that being said, there is somebody here who um, is realizing that they should have opened their heart to you. They have, they should have followed your into their intuition. Um, this person is awakened now that they should have committed to you. They should have proposed to you, and they should have married you. But now this person is dealing with a lot of stress at this time um, because a lot of secrets are coming out about the people that they trusted over you. Um, this person is fantasizing and day daydreaming a lot about you all, um, thinking about the past memories that you all had that were good. Um, and this person does not want this to be over between you and them. But they are also awakened that a lot of them are also awakened that they may have lost you. And um, they're very depressed in grief and um, very depressed over this loss of you. Because they didn't um, understand the assignment when it came to you. You have entered a season where people are going to wish they would have treated you better. And this is that time. So um, whoever this person is, they're realizing that um, they are out of alignment. Um, they were supposed to be on this journey with you, but they um, listened to bad advice from others and that caused them to be out of alignment. They were supposed to be experiencing this um, floodgates of heaven um, pouring out on them with you walking this journey with you and now this person is realizing that they're experiencing nothing but delays um, slow down they have self-doubt they're worrying no action is happening in their lives because they felt entitled um, and they felt like um, you were supposed to praise them or chase them in some type of way that you were not their equal and that they were not supposed to be walking along beside you, that they were supposed to be above you to control you like a puppet, 
but they they misunderstood the assignment and they were very impulsive and this person was envious of you as well <clears throat> not understanding that God had sent you into their life to be a blessing not for them to be intimidated by you and so there's a lot of secrets that are coming out about the people that they trusted the people that they um receive bad advice from concerning you and your connection with them. So now they're experiencing the opposite of you. They're um, experiencing low self-esteem. A lot of them are experiencing a lot of shame, public shame and guilt. Um, they feel weak. They um, lack purpose. They were very um, aggressive and lack energy. And a lot of secrets are coming out. The truth is being revealed, um, exposed, unmasked. Um, they're realizing that they trusted the wrong person. A lot of information is being leaked at this time. And um, they are trying to figure out um, these karmic energies that they were attached to are trying to figure out this. your whole um, journey and path has them confused. Um, they're confused that you are not um, in despair. You're not stressed out. You're not hopeless over um, a divine partner or anybody that you were supposed to be connected to that they were trying to keep from being in a divine union with you or coming back to you. They're um, baffled at how and confused that you're not stressed and depressed over this person and you're not dump, down in the dumps. Um, and you're not operating in low vibration as they expected you to based on all of the um, things that they were doing in the background, all of the um, the magic, black magic that they were doing and spell work. And so this has them confused that you are not looking at this divine partner at all. You have turned your back on this whole situation and moved forwards. And they were doing um, spell work to, to try to bind you to um, cause you to be in low vibration, to cause you to be depressed, um, down and out. And the total opposite has happened in your life. And so these people are realizing that everything that they tried to bind you to, they are binded to it now. And they, this is what they're experiencing. You are still getting this... Um, you are still happy. You're um, optimistic. Um, you have the favor of God on your life. You're still, you know, a chosen one operating in that office of a chosen one, still operating in your purpose. You are pure of heart and spirit. Um, and you're still getting everything that God promised you. This, this um, new love soulmate connection is still coming to you and they're trying to figure out how when they did everything they could to try to stop and block you um they were holding on to your energy like a security blanket they were trying to um transfer their energy into your life and receive your energy into their lives um they were expecting a payout for doing this work on you and they were working with people that were going to pay them to um, destroy your life so you know the enemy was working through them but in turn they have they're realizing and finding themselves in bad fortune they're the ones who are experiencing a lot of problems obstacles and setbacks and very stressed and depressed at this time for all of the energy, heavy energy that they overindulged in concerning you. And they are not expanding. The wheel has not turned in their favor. The, act, the tables have actually turned. And this has them confused and baffled because they were sure that they can they could take you out, that they could um, turn your life upside down. And so now today, they're finding that they're uh, sadly mistaken.
so this divine partner this person that who was supposed to be your original divine partner they're realizing that they were um, mirroring a karmic soul tie and operating in their pride arrogance ego and being very stubborn and that this person was not their soulmate and they was never supposed to give this person a second chance or to reconcile with them. They're realizing this now. And now they have, you know, freed themselves from this person, but they see that this person was trying to control the outcome of their actions. They did not want them to be a leader and make the correct sound judgment and decisions when it came to you and your divine union with them. And so now they're stuck. They're caught up in their own mess, caught up in their own spell work and their black magic, everything that they were doing um, towards you behind the scenes. They're caught up and trapped trying to control the outcome of your destiny. So this person was operating in their pride and ego because they did not want this divine person to, um, this original divine partner to give you an offer. So they love bomb the situation and they did not expect you to recover from this. They thought they had um, did you in pretty much and left you for dead and that they were gonna um, get your birthright blessings and be paid by these people who paid them in some type of organization or a coven group. And, um, but they're seeing now that you were a hundred steps behind, a uh, hundred steps ahead of them. And they're the ones who were lagging behind. Um, you were very intelligent. You were playing chess and they were playing checkers and they're the foolish ones that was reckless, impulsive, and careless because they did not want things to end. They couldn't cause any endings in your life because you were a real high priestess or, or a high priest. Yes, you, um, you are intelligent and very wise leader and none of this worked on you. They could not master this when it came to you. And so now this um, divine partner, they're realizing that they um, were not spiritually awakened. They're realizing that these people that they, you know, were connected to were not spiritually awakened at all. They were not enlightened about who you, who you really are. They had you totally confused with somebody else. And now they have ran out of time. And because you have healed and this have these people, this has this, this person that was originally supposed to be your divine partner. They are in their head, um, thinking there, there's no rest for the wicked. They cannot um, sleep at night. They're being bombarded with thoughts. They are being um, tortured with everything that they were a part of and trying to, um, cause to happen in your life they are being tortured with it now all of these entities and um, demons that they sent out to try to collect on your life has backfired and collecting on their lives now so they are being um, haunted with what they have done in the background and all of this stuff is coming out this person is heavily burdened and just in sorrow and in depression and grief that they made the choice to team up with this karmic soul tie person for money. They went back towards this person thinking that they had unfinished business with them. 
and a lot of them told them a lot of that was going on with you and them in their divine union with you and a lot of your business. And none of this worked how they thought it was going to work. They're realizing that they're the ones that un, that are not healed and need to heal, need to cleanse and pur- purify their energy because you're no longer interested in, in them on no levels. You don't have any admiration or infatuation with them anymore. It is over. You're not checking for them anymore. And they're wishing that they would not have dr- withdrawn from you. Because you're not lonely, you're not lonely, you're not in solitary. Wishing they would not have released you or let you go or moved on from you or walked away from you. Wish they would have stayed in this relationship with you and been this family with you, been in this divine union with you. Yeah, they're reminiscing about the past and how they were closed off to you. And so now this person is devastated that they're finding out all of these secrets, um, what they were part of. A lot of them didn't know that, you know, they were a part of people who were dealing in black magic and spell work, but they listened to bad advice concerning you because they thought that they were gonna get some type of monetary reward But now they're seeing that you were the blessing the whole time. You were the one that they were supposed to be on this journey with. But they went down the wrong path. And so now all of this is coming to light. And they are devastated with what they're finding out. And now they're missing you and craving you and longing for you. Hoping that you still have the same feelings for them. But you do not. You do not love this person anymore. And you have moved forward and you're waiting for God to bring what he promised to you because it's still going to happen in the summer season. And so this person is realizing that you are not heartbroken over this situation. You are not disappointed anymore. You are not. um, They wish they would not have betrayed you. and broke up your divine union, your committed relationship that they have with you. They're seeing that you do not care that you're single. You're actually happily single at this time. Waiting for God to bring in what he promised to you. And this person is realizing that they are receiving, this is why they're receiving all of this karma There has been a divine intervention because you didn't do anything that these people said you did. They listened to the wrong advice instead of asking you. They just went went ahead and went along with what everybody was saying about you. And everybody in this that was involved in this situation and disrupted your divine union, they are under heavy judgment at this time and experiencing a lot of karma. Yes, this person is wishing they would not have hooked up with this karmic soul type person. And so now they're wishing, um, they're craving you and thinking about you, longing for you and all of that. And you are not, you're not on that level with them. You're not mirroring that energy with them anymore. And a lot of you, it's it's completely over, game over. You're not coming back to them. And now they're in this energy of the same energy that you were in when they um, listened to these people and, and walked away from you and ghosted you and listened to lies about you. That energy that you were in, that hurt energy, the energy of betrayal, they're in this same energy now times 10 and this is their karma because you're not coming back this is a dandata it's over game over the end end of story 
you are on barking on a embarking on a new beginning, a new chapter, a new cycle. You have closed out this cycle. And this is a major life lesson for them. But God gave them many chances and many warnings. They did not wake up in time. And so you're the winner. You have victory and success. You're receiving recognition and reward. And this has people sick. Um, has them sick emotionally over your success, over your um, you being recognized and rewarded. They are sick emotionally over this, and some of them are sick physically. And they know they can't come back. Because they can't heal from some of these sicknesses that they have. And this is also their karma. It is what it is. You know, God, he gave many warnings. He said he warns those that he loves. Warning always comes before destruction. If you don't keep his commandments, follow his universal laws, nobody is exempt. This is what happens. But you star seeds, you chosen ones, earth angels, you are stable and secure. You know who you are now. You're operating in your identity as a chosen one, a star seed, earth angel. You know what your purpose is. You are operating in your purpose. And you are moving forward. And God is keeping all of his promises to you no matter what these people did. They can delay you, but they can't stop you. God is always infinity steps ahead of them, ahead of the enemy. So keep moving forwards. Keep enjoying your life, enjoying the journey. Like he said, you have um, the, you have open doors to you. There's an open heaven to you at this time. The floodgates of heaven is pouring out in your life. You came through the situation unscathed. It may have taken some time, but there's lessons that you had to learn. Everybody learned a major life lesson in this situation. And it may have been a long time coming, but it's all in divine timing. And so when you understand that and you have faith in God, you trust him. He has shown you that he is for you and that. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And if he is for you, who can be against you? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Then now it's easy for you to trust God and to wait on his timing for everything. But enjoy the journey. Don't be such in a hurry to get to the destination. Enjoy the journey. All right, Starseeds, that is the message. Um, I will put some songs that I heard while I was receiving this message um, some high vibrational music for you to um, check out. When you get a chance, I will put that in a in the description box. All right, star seeds, I love you. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourselves and others right. I will talk to you soon. Peace be with you.